Hello driver, today I have the pleasure to introduce you uh, the Seedbed Dungeoneer. Uh, it, is, uh, it is a project I've been working on for a very long time now. Uh, actually, I started to work on this uh, when I started to work on machine rigs uh, years ago. And it never appeared uh, in video uh, before uh, because it's been very hard uh, to reach uh, this level of uh, reliability, affordability, um, and also security. Uh, I know it may uh, seem, uh, it may look a little bit simple, but once again, it's been very hard uh, to to get there, uh, mostly because we aren't using a very expensive servo motor. We are. Uh, here using a DC motor that you can find uh, usually on scooter, I think, and um, it's it's been very hard to 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 make it reliable. Now it is uh, it is for uh, it has been reliable I, I think since uh, the V2 and now it is the V3. So uh, what does a seat bed tensioner uh, do? Um, Basically, when you will start to break, it will start uh, to pull on the bed, so it will pull on uh, your shoulders. And the more uh, the more you break, the more it will pull. And uh, it gives you clue on um, the braking power. Uh, you can feel the differences uh, between cars. Uh, by example, I drove. A Ferrari 250 GTO, you almost uh, feel nothing, and um, then I drove an F1 car, and it was it it almost hurt on the the shoulders. So you really think feel the difference, and I think is uh, one of the ma most amazing uh, thing about it uh, because basically you never feel the difference in braking power. Uh, from a car to another, uh, let's say uh, Monza. At Monza, you, we we all break at the the one uh, 150 meter uh, mark uh, with every car, and now you really feel the difference. One may uh, think uh, that it isn't realistic uh, because you don't have your body moving forward. You have your body. Uh, moving uh, backward uh, to the, the seat when you, you break and when the, the belt pulls on your shoulders but uh, the thing is that your brain uh, really understand the, the message uh, the, your brain will understand that you have pressure on your chest the same pressure that you will feel when you are a re in a real car you are braking and you have your body moving forward against uh, the bed, so uh, it is really something extremely immersive. Uh, it, it gives a lot of uh, clues about uh, the, the braking power, and it's really something uh, I appreciate. On top of that, as you can see, it is very compact. You have here uh, the, the whole mechanism, you have the motor uh, with uh, a box there, um, and obviously the, the seat bed. And all the electronic stuff is uh, in the control box that is uh, under the seat. So as you can see, it's really compact. There is a lot of security. You can't harm yourself. And I also want to add that it is really different um, from a thing we all often see on the internet. You often see guys with Martian rigs and they just uh, fix the belt to uh, a fixed point uh, elsewhere and when uh, they start to break the, the, the rig start to, uh, to dive to dive, and uh, you will have automatically uh, your, the belt pushing on your shoulders the problem is that you you can have your, your rig diving uh, due to the braking but also uh, diving just because you are driving down a hill and then you, the, the message uh, starts to be a little bit blurry. Uh, you, you won't know if you are breaking or just going uh, down the hill. So 
uh, I really think that it, it can't be very effective and is really far from being as good as uh, this system. Okay, now so I'm going to show you uh, how it looks like in game. So we are on ECC, uh, I put the rain. Um, I will start to break just lightly, then uh, a little bit harder and uh, until the point that uh, the EBS kicks in. So, gently breaking, it starts to pull harder, it's, you see that it pulls harder. And when the ABS kicks in, you see some little, uh, how can I say, vibrations. It isn't that subtle uh, in the shoulders. So, it works like this. <laughs> and now just uh, a lap uh, around Spa. Uh, nothing special, I'll let you uh, see how it works. As you can see, uh, it can be a little bit uh, violent. Uh, it uh, d depends, obviously, on the car. Uh, it works with uh, Sim Hub, so you can easily tune uh, the overall uh, gain. Uh, I think here uh, we are at uh, 90%. So I hope you like uh, the video, you like uh, the project, uh, I think it costs uh, about 100 to 150 euros, the model itself just costs uh, 50 euros and uh, all the documentation is on the website, you have a tutorial video, uh, you have the shopping list, the free files are on Thingiverse. And if you have any question, uh, you can find me on the, the Discord, all the links are in the description. So if you want to support my projects, uh, feel free to donate, uh, I put uh, a PayPal link in the description. Uh, please subscribe also to the channel. If you have any question, you can also uh, ask it in the comment below. And now I just have to say, au revoir!